Okay. Sixty-four percent completed. Getting some progress in now. Anyway, uh, off stream, I pretty much cleared New York from all the collectibles. Um. Um, I also renovated as much as I can. I think I still have one here, and I don't have enough metal. And I still have enough here, and not enough metal. And I'm not sure what I'm missing here. An assassin intercept? But I don't see anything. Apparently there's an assassin intercept I can't see yet. Everything else is complete. And... I also... went some map hunting in the North Atlantic and also have some new Templar stuff. I changed the outfit. Uh, and I upgraded the ship a bit. Yeah. And now it's time for main story. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. <laughs> She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? That was a bit too much, don't you think? You didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well, yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the Brotherhood. Also, some new stuff to read. Hope Jensen, born 1732. Hope was born in New York City to a modest family, but was placed in an orphanage after her parents died. She was adopted by a German couple who hoped to build a new life for themselves in the colonies. Yeah, I think I've seen all that. Yeah, Hope was killed when she attacked her in her mansion. Okay, that hasn't happened yet. Hayton was born in London. His father was Edward Kenway, a former pirate who trained him with a secret purpose. One day before his 10th birthday, young Hayton's home was burned, his half-sister Jenny was taken, and his father was killed. Reginald Birch, a family friend, offered to help and revealed he was a Templar, though the boy hardly understood what this implied at the time. Ethan was introduced to Edward the Bulldog Braddock, a soldier in the Royal Army and fellow Templar, and the two took an instant dislike to each other. Years passed, and fruitless. Uh, I don't vote in American elections because I'm not American. Uh, years passed in a fruitless search for his half-sister and Haytham and both settled in Troy, France. Haytham became a ruthless and efficient killer for the Templars. While searching for his father's killer, he met Braddock in Germany and served in his Cold Streams unit in the War of Secession. In 1754, Hayton killed an assassin named Miko in London to acquire an amulet needed to fire the first civilization storehouse. Birch sent him to the colonies to establish an official Templar presence. While he searched for the Pacosa site, he secured the seasons. I think I've read all that too. Jenny was found in the Ottoman Empire. He used the colonies to rescue her and was shocked that Persian Templars were behind the attack on his home. Their father was an assassin and Birch had him killed for his secrets. Together they traveled to Troy and killed Birch. Hayton returned to the colonies in 1758. Hayton kept a diary. I wonder why he never mentioned Shay in it. I see. But I do hope uh, you, uh, you all voted, whoever gets a chance to vote. Uh, Personally, even I, I have a bit of a stake in the U.S. elections, and I really hope Biden wins because Biden is not great, but he's okay, and I hope Kamala Harris and the other Democrats uh, push him towards the the subjects that are re really matter. And in any case, Trump was an absolute disaster. That was my TED talk. 
As an assassin and leader of New York's underworld, Hope Jensen used a mansion that was deadly and extravagant. Now it was a matter of when and not if she would be attacked, she had several traps built in the mansion to deal with intruders. But we tried crime mansions of the new fairy prince princess castles. I also found the North Arctic Passage, also known as the Northwest Passage. This sea route was sought for centuries by explorers hoping to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, although marine progress was often impeded by ice. I'm not in the stock market, I don't have any shares in anything. The desire to establish a trade route to the Indies and China resulted in various attempts to find a path. The first recorded effort was sponsored by Henry VII of England in 1497 and carried out by Italian explorer Giovanni Caboto. Um, the problem I have with the stock market is you need money to make money, and I don't really have a lot of money right now. Hell, I'm playing a game from 2013. In 1776, Captain James Cook was coaxed out of retirement to lead another such expedition. However, despite his expertise and extensive research, he encountered nothing but icebergs. In 1845, Sir John Franklin led another attempt, this one ending in a far worse fate. The expedition became trapped in the ice and was lost, with no known survivors. Then the Norwegian explorer, Roald Amundsen, made an attempt, inspired in part by Franklin's lost expedition. His voyage, which lasted from 1903 to 1906, marked the first time that the passage was successfully traversed by a ship. My mission was a success. The army should make its move any time now. Good. We like the resources in New York to handle these criminals ourselves. With a little luck, we might be rid of them once and for all. Why did I you stop? My own look. I make now my own let's luck. Cut off the snake's head. Oh, it's a full-blown assault. Sir, we can confirm the woman is inside. Perfect. Time to smoke her out. I go in and get home myself. Very well. This is not working. Oh yeah, I've I've been to this mission before when I was looking for collectibles. Going through the roof. I love going into the roofs. We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. Should have seen that coming, you idiot. It's about time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, she. You were a fascinating fellow. Up, up, up. Up. God damn it. Up.
Don't you go? You have more endurance than I expected, Shay. Ow. Is that what a poison dot? Poison. It slurs my heart. I have to move. That's it. Moving. Keeps my heart beating. Keep moving. I need to talk to you. I don't need to talk to you. I can't see him in that far. We'll trap him. I have a good line on him. I can shoot him. He went that way. He's in my sight. Stop yeah. Here he is. No. You really think we can't catch mm -hmm. you? Nah. Grenade. Mm. He's not getting No matter. The poison will kill. Ah. Ouch. You never give up. God damn it! <sighs> I'm trying to stay out of combat. You never give up. Do you? Move, move. Sheesh. Assassin Crease controls. Let me control the goddamn camera. Crap, crap, crap. Damn walls. Don't you hate walls? I hate walls. You never give up. Let me control. Oh, she took it, bitch. I'm staying active, damn it. I'm climbing a fucking building. Move, damn it, move. I can hit him from here. I can't see him anymore. He's 
Grab her! Grab her! <coughs> Use the thing to grab her! No? Fine. Finally. Again, Shay. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I trained you to do this. I expected nothing less. Then why? To give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the Precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. Okay. Next is it North America? This should be switching. What is this? Hostile settlement? Or is this a hostile settlement? We're in the Atlantic again. Shay and the Templars are going after the assassin expedition. Go team! Why is this hostile? How do I make it not hostile? Kill snipers, destroy powder reserves. Okay. Is there another way in? Yes, there is. No! 
There, non hostile. <laughs> Yay, metal. Settlement liberated. And an assassin intercept. Give me an assassin intercept. Slow pigeon. Slow pigeon. Pigeon? Got the pigeon. David Bogan provides support for remote settlements to help them grow. Unfortunately, he has been helping everyone, including local Templar leaders. His services are no longer needed. to be dead not standing up look at this this one's a fighter well what well that should serve as an inspiration to us all For your death. Yeah. Ah! That should serve as an inspiration for all. Stand firm. You know those corrupted zones. You stand for something. Wait, there's more. I stay strong. Stand firm. What a joke. Valiant attempts, corpse. I need renovations. Where are the renovations? Oh, 
keep thinking of one maybe, I don't know. Yeah, Trump likes Israel, but he's bad for Israel. Do you want Trump? Where are you from? Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis-Joseph Gautier, Chevalier de la Verandry. The explorer? I have heard of him and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, who sent him my regards? Or... not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Oh, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. So, yeah, Trump is... Though, they tried to sell you on it that he's not, he's actually very bad for his own. The Grandmaster is pleased, Shay, what you did in New York. Yeah, it's only a matter of time now before order is restored. New York was never orderly, Gist. <laughs> With hope gone. Yes, this is a Perhaps. PC build. It couldn't have been easy for you, my lad, but you did what you had to do. I keep telling myself that. We are almost rid of the assassins in New York, and it's not as if the Hellcat didn't try to make you wear a pine overcoat. You had no other choice. Pine overcoat. I chose <laughs> to cast my lot with the Templars. And we are glad you did, Shay. Who knows? Had you not? You might have found yourself at the end of Master Kenway's blade. Or yours. That's the spirit. Look, Shay, by killing Hope, you not only saved yourself and half of New York from the assassin's poisons, you also learned the path we must take next. Now our task is simple. Prevent a group of paper skull killers from destroying another city. All in a day's work. A yeah, I, I don't own any council. Any... Yes. I don't own any consoles. Sensitive, sir, but what did you learn from the departed damsel? That she's cleverer than I even thought. Her whole ruse was to give Liam time to get back to Chevalier. They must have already set sail to a new precursor site. Determined to the end. I must say, I admire the misguided lass. I don't. The assassins won't stop their mad quest. They're desperate to find a piece of Eden. Yeah, I don't like the idea of buying an especially expensive machine to the west. just to play games. On the computer, I do a lot more. Wait, Anticosti is guarded? Oh, I want that forget. Anticosti is famed for its shipwrecks. They likely believe no one would venture into such dangerous waters. Yeah, uh... My English is good and my math is good, I think. I'm a computer scientist. Kind of required. Avoid open conflicts. Are you gonna test me while I'm playing the game? Place would be overrun with red coats if we hadn't found them out. 
I'm not doing polynomials on stream. Only a matter of time. Clear shot. Yeah, that wasn't open conflict. You know what? Yeah, let's do the hunter outfit. Just for kicks. Yeah, at least it's not ugly. Or someone big price. Captain's been spitting bile ever since the Frenchman left. Never trust him. those vessels in the bushes. There we go. Jesus! Okay, where is he? Come back. Did he leave? Come on, come back. Can't just kill them. No what to hide over there. I'm still saving this video for later, so I'm still keeping it in English. Everything goes up on my YouTube in the end. Come on, come here. So, if you speak a language that only about 14 million people in the world speak, instead of, let's say, 5 billion, then it's a lot less inclusive. Documents are nothing but blasted symbols and nonsense. That French devil was always one for secrets, but he has found the side of a great treasure. I'm sure of it. 
Ah, damn it! Stealing is such an annoying thing in this game. Better head back to the bargain. Now you're saying don't kill any girls. Who's firing? Come on. Lost. She's been fired. They beat us, sir. Arguments for me. We're leaving. Make haste. The Royal Navy. Still King George's men will take care of those pirates. We've got our own battles to fight. So yeah, if you can speak a language that more people understand, I prefer to do that. It was a far closer escape than I'm comfortable with, but we have what we came for. Then we know where De La Verandre's ships are headed? Not quite, but we have the means to find out. We'll need Cook to interpret these maps. Then we should set sail for the coast of Newfoundland. Yay! Um, this PC is almost two years old now, <clears throat> so... When I bought it, I had a job that paid well. Now I don't. And I'm looking for work for six months and I'm running on a shoestring budget, supporting a wife and two dogs. So yeah, my situation right now is a lot different than it was when I bought this PC. Okay, where do I need to go now? Over there. Okay, I can go there. Uh, I can get a narwhal while I'm at it. And I really wish I had the money to buy a 2080 or a 3080, but I just don't. I don't even have enough money to justify a memory upgrade. I'm actually trying to justify... I'm trying to be able to justify buying a new microphone, except this and dump this shitty one. Spread our wings to the wind! Loose Let's catch the wind! We call in the Stutzen! I think mine have eight. No. Yeah, no, I think mine has a six. Oh, no, mine has eight and sixteen threads. In Amsterdam there lived a maid mark. Well, what I do say in a Hang on a minute. Settings. First of all, let's check PCU affinity. Oh, there it is. Uh, set affinity. I have... Really? Oh, okay. My mistake. Uh, about... Well, this doesn't give you much. The vice manager? Computer? No. Give you... Processors. Processors. Yeah, that looks like 12. Okay, yeah, six goals. So... Down there lives a maid 
But that, that makes sense to me because when I bought this PC, I wanted the cheapest thing I could get, but still sort of future proof. Let's hunt an owl. Well, Let's go hunting. And actually, at least in these kinds of games. Hey, I know computer science. I don't know a lot of computer how, not for a long time. There he is! And, and hi, I have a lot of respect Ice. for IT people. Hang on, man! I used to be one, too. Hang on, man! And actually, yes, when I bought this new PC, I went to a professional who knows about PC parts, who knows about building a PC, and I got it built professionally. Because I knew it. I knew that if I tried to build it on my own, it'll be trash. Hang on, man. Hang on, man. Yeah, I haven't built my own PC in, in, I think more than 20 years, actually. Careful with that horn! Yeah, it's a big horn. Well done, Captain! Help one and kill each type of sea animal! Yay for me, I killed sea animals. You know, uh, in, the, in the Walking Gamers group that I follow, uh, how to install a GPU. I mean, a PCIe card? Yeah, sure, I can install that, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to apply thermal paste because I tried that once and it went horribly. I can replace memory, I can install PCIe cards. Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found Olivet Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code, I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. Can you build a compiler? Well, I can. That's computer science. That's strange. There's a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or, you could accompany me. Help me find La Verandry. An urgent matter, then. <clears throat> Very well. We shall sail together again. Well, I don't want to uh, build a CPU. I gather you have some history with our friend La Verandry. The Chevalier de La Verandry. We've read all that before. Uh, return to fair trading. Wait, return to fair trading. 
This doesn't go well. Plan a trip to France. The ship was lost off the coast of Cape Breton. That's how history remembers it going down. But we know the truth. Don't we, Nomsko? Uh, Violet. History of instant loathing. I should have known not to trust my friends who embrace such a wretch. My goodness, what could this fellow have done to inspire such enmity? I know him only as one of a family of explorers, extending the boundaries of the known world. From the brief encounters I've had with him, I can tell you he's an irascible person. That's a polite way of saying he's a cantankerous bastard. Uh... Well, I can't do day trading, it's too stressful. But I would love to learn more video editing, I'm trying for, for streaming. Could it be the Lavarandri? Perhaps. This secret expedition won't be key to leave any witnesses to their voyage. Man, it's safe. I think a bore, Captain. What do you use for video editing? Come on, get a move on. Get a move on. Get a move on. Get a move on. And stop shaking. Hit him! Do you know DaVinci Resolve? Because that's what I use. It's, uh, I use it because it's free and very easy. Um, salvage. Actually, I don't really need the money anymore. Even a little bit of the past Keep your distance and you Schooner Fire! 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 Turn 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 Frigate Gunboat Top Scarlet's Royal Good Stop Police Fire 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 motors! Get out of range or they'll sink us! Taking damage here! Ship taking damage! Ready to fire, sir! Fire! for long and perhaps it will help us take them by surprise <sighs> motor file it's an ambush steady the ship where are they they're within mortar range, that's all I know! Sir, to four! Unfurled, mate! Let's move! 
There they are. As much sail as you can. Fire! It's the gear four. The gear four. Hurts them to the last. To the Verandre must have stayed behind the stumps. No doubt volunteered for the job. Damn, it's gonna run us! See anything? Come on! He's off the wind! He's dead in the water! Prepare for boarding! I hate invisible walls. So, cabbage farmer, are you still convinced the Templars are right? Convinced to the end. Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly, um, interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. It, tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? <laughs> the Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? Let's say that we do. We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Levet Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. But I did collide with icebergs. They did take damage. The Sapphire Shipwreck. Built in 1676, HMS Sapphire was a 32 gun frigate that became the first command of celebrated English naval officer Sir Cloudsley Shovel, later to be named Admiral of the Fleet in the British Royal Navy. In September of 1696, then captained by Thomas Cleesby, the Sapphire was trapped by French ships in Babel's Harbour off the coast of Newfoundland. 
Fearing she would be captured, the English scuttled the vessel and fled the land. Cloudless Shovel is the greatest name in the English language. I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. Brothers and sisters, I am writing to inform you that a new brotherhood is being created in the new world. I, already I have allies among English colonists, French colonists, and the indigenous people of the area. I have sent similar letters of friendship across the known world, for I believe that we are growing ever more connected day by day. If my brotherhood is to succeed, we will need allies from all empires. Of all genders, of all races, we believe in the same thing, the creed. I hope I can count you among them. Master Harrison, I do not know what your sources are, but after conducting a thorough search of Lisbon and the surrounding area, I have found no trace of a precursor site. I believe that your intelligence has failed you. If there is nothing else, I must return to my duties. As the nations around us continue to bicker, trade has increased, there are other more pressing matters to attend to. I am sorry I could not serve you in this matter. May the Father of Understanding guide you. What about my outfit? Tons of monies. Any sword I haven't purchased yet. English infantry hanger sword. Less combo, more speed. Sure. Pistol sets. The best I could do before completing special missions. Set of leather and fur clothes for the North American Big Game Hunter. Sure, let's go with that. Any upgrades I can do? Nope. The Queen M's Revenge Sailors. The Experto Crede Figurehead. If I'm already here... Polar bear hunting sites. to climb that. So give me a minute. Crap. Okay. Wrong pole to climb on. Hello. A little bit to the right. Is that a chest over there? Whoa! 
That's the Templar end of the line. Yeah, collect all Templar relics. Okay, so that's where the Templar stuff is. I still need to get that chest and polar bell. Hang on. How am I on polar bells? Morgan almost completely upgraded. Shay almost com nah, not far, not close to upgraded. Crafting still need a lot. Okay, polar bell. I have all the polar bells I need. I need two, four, seven. And I have the seven, so I don't need more polar bell. I also went a bit hunting. Kind of cheesy hunting, actually. Yeah. Ow. Cold. Cold. It's cold. Okay. Maps. North Atlantic. 134739. And if I'm in the North Atlantic, 134739. Damn it. I can do it. I can do it. Mates out! Let's go! Keep going! Metal? It has metal. Ooh, lots of metal. I want them. Go, people! Kill scouts. Ah, too... Too high. Get a rifle, man.
Move it, move it, move it. No, you don't. Yes, give me all your metal. And it's a fire, so send it. Blue Spade says! Fire! Ah, damn it, I should have bothered them. They had a lot of metal. Crap. Lose all! Let's move! Okay, infiltrate an outpost. What was my thing? 134 minus Chest. Come on, man. Up. Thank you. Come on, come... Ugh. Up, through, come on. Sheesh. Damn it, I missed it. 
The evil spirit crossed the land, moving from shadow to shadow. I will ruin everything my brother has made. The evil spirit crossed the land, moving from shadow to shadow. Oh, yeah. The good spirit took red clay from the earth and made humans. He taught humans how to speak and live together. The jealous evil spirit made himself servants out of sea foam. The good spirit saw that his creations needed, needed his words and were capable of wisdom. He wished that they might live forever in harmony. The good spirit saw the mischief that his brother did and knew that even his help would not be enough. He told his brother to stop making trouble, but the evil spirit refused. Knowing that his brother would expect only violence, the good spirit reluctantly challenged the evil spirit to combat. The winner would rule the world. The good spirit and his people united and triumphed over the evil spirit. He banished his brother to a cave beneath the earth. On the surface, though, some of the evil spirit's servants still wandered from shadow to shadow. Their influence causes men to do evil things. This is why there's still evil in the world. Mentor, I have followed Jean de la Tour to his homeland in the north. The weather does not agree with me, as I am too used to the climate of the West Indies. But I will not let this arrogant bastard know how much I suffer. We arrived in Quebec to find Matthew Lavelle, a slave from Martinique, who was purchased by the French government to serve as executioner. He was said to possess certain knowledge of the first civilization, but we were too late. The cold weather took its toll on the poor man, and he died from an illness last September. But that was not lost. To cure Lavelle's depression, the government procured him a wife from the West Indies. As the marriage could no longer take place, she was put up for sale. Jean de Latour, acting on instinct, bought her, and he was right. Though she was scarcely allowed to be in her intended presence due to the fear of infection, the executioner gave her his most trusted secrets, and she promised to keep them safe. I asked for her name, she told me that she had just been baptized Angelique Denise, and before that she had another name given to her by another master. I told her that as she no longer had a master, her freedom would begin by choosing a name for herself. She laughed. She has the most delightful laugh, and she told me that her name was Abigail. I have changed my mind about John Delatour. Jean et la Violette, vous allez patrouiller le côté nord. Jean et la Violette, vous allez patrouiller le côté nord. Jean et la Violette, vous allez patrouiller le côté nord. What did I get? Canadian Lynx. Allez, maniez-vous un peu. Je sais que vous vous emmerdez. C'est pas une raison pour être moins vigilant. How do I get over there? Allez, maniez-vous un peu. Je sais que vous vous emmerdez. How do I? Hmm. How? Hmm. Excellent. Key master. Soyez alert. C'est pas ce qui peut nous tomber dessus. Soyez alert. On ne sait pas ce qui peut nous tomber dessus. Soyez alert. C'est pas planté là. Who can I kill to stop that talking? Félicien, j'ai une mission 
Hmm, it's not here. How much? Okay. You have the key to my heart. Right. The spoils here at the very least. That's a bad guy? Those are bad guys. Sure. There's a floating bush. It's the mystery of the floating bush. Okay, where do I need to dig? At the end. Templar artifacts. Okay, how do I get that floating thing over there? I think I know. Cats. By the way, Canadian Lynx. Canadian Lynx. Sorry, wrong button. Canadian Lynx. No, we don't need any more Canadian Lynx. Nice. Wait, what? And how? Then how? There we go. What do I have left? This thing. There's a hole in the wall. How do I get up there? That the way? Yeah. Right, it's raining. It's raining on the inside and it's raining on the outside. I'm not sure this is the way. But I 
can't see another way. Exactly, do you expect me to get there? This all this here, everything is blocked except that. No, that's blocked too. I love invisible walls, don't you? Wait, is it that easy? No, it can't be that easy. No, it's not that easy. Fine, let's see about this cross. Assassin's Creed. Okay, that's complete. Halifax Gang Headquarters. What was the mission? Over there. Get us some more now wall. Now wall or humpback? I need one more now wall. And two humpbacks. And three now wall. Three humpbacks and five narwhals and eight narwhals. Okay, okay, give me fast travel. The Miranda shipwreck, really. Okay. Loose a trip to release the names. Naval convoy. Well, you have very little metal. Not worth the trouble. Okay. I want one narwhal. Crowded on our ships, she sailed to Spain. Loose topsails, oh, gallant and roll, roll and go. There was a ship came home again. Tommy's on the topsail yard. And what do you think was in her hold? Oh, 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 roll and go. There was diamond, there was gold. Tommy's on the topsail yard. And what was in her last? Oh, oh, roll and go. Good split peas and bad bull meat. Tommy's on the top of the yard. Boom, and yep. Unlash the harpoons. Unlash the harpoons. Ready, man? I miss Sean Connery. Really? Everyone, 
Brace everyone! Where is it? Watch out! Ice! He snapped the rope. I don't see it. Hold steady now. What? Brace everyone! Brace everyone! We're heading for ice! Just one more good shot. Let's go hunting. There's our prey. Well, Come on, show me your head. Brace! It's us! What? What is it? Just trying to live his days. You're the one throwing harpoons at him. The Lavelle Andre's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Yes, I know about resources. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The oh, world no, is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. Wait, we have crafting. 
Berserk grenades efficiency. Shrapnel grenade pouch. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me the grenade pouch. I'll increase area of effect. No, let me have that. We'll save that for later. What do I need for the whaler outfit? Shark skin. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless. Beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of this ice is rather thin. I don't think that's possible with ice. It's too slippery. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. I doubt he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That's bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassin could scarce recognize you. Come, just enter there. Okay, we got a patrol over there. We got that guy over here. <laughs> He's already up there. And he's gone. Shit, I left the body. I left the goddamn body. Yeah, no use hiding any bodies anymore. Oh well. It was good while it lasted. Because of course. Okay. <clears throat> the hell are you doing? What's the point of climbing all the way up here if you can't make the goddamn yeah. jump? Good night. Hmm. 
shooter. Okay, shooter is down. The ice. I will not repeat myself. Get on it down. We did what we could. We will not quit, Nate. We will not quit, Nate. Is he calling my name? for stealth. Ah, damn it.
Hey, I was here first. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. Shay was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. <laughs> You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles, and me, says the man who shot me in the back at the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss the young goat. Come on! Do not get hit by energy beam walls. Get shot by Liam. Did you have to bring the damn manuscript and box all the way out here, Liam? The precursor box is safe, Shane. Chevalier took care of that. You'll never find it. We're not done with the beam walls, eh? Times do I have to tell you, Liam? I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? To save the world. 
to save the world. I hope our world is a good one. Well, even if you're dead, you're not supposed to make it easy. Okay, today is going to be a shorter stream. I'm going to be ending soon. Just we'll see what comes up next. If it finishes loading at any point. Well, well, is something happening? Okay, we are out of here. And that's heavy snow. No! Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides... He understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Mm -hmm. mm. Yay. Ah! Never forget what has happened here. I won't. Damn. But the world will. Well, that answers the question from Assassin's Creed 3. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Is this the end? Good. 
That's it. That's the end. Oh, the hood broken. Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nubskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. To the basement. To reward you for your services to me, I am granting you level three security access. Of course. From this point on, no doors will be closed to you. In the distant past, the assassins had a noble goal. That of peace. But over the centuries, that goal eroded into a far more dangerous one. Freedom. Shit! There! Just follow those lights and you'll be set. I promise, you won't die if you follow the bright lights. <laughs> okay, sure. Bye bye. I haven't steered you wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. This is off. I haven't steered you wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. This is off. Okay. Everything is off. This isn't off. But it's arrowing. Same. Please hurry, Numskull. It all comes down to this. Hello. To Chloe Lansdny for Melanie LeMay, 8th September 2014, Nikolai Orlov. I like this take a lot. A psychotic Russian terrorist meddles in the affairs of a once proud monarchy. Now, for the first time in history, learn the truth about Russia's swift, brutal descent into anarchy and chaos at the genesis of the 20th century. I'm not sure about White Death as a name though. Radical Reds, The Fall, <laughs> I suck at naming. But I think we need to sit down and hammer out a final title. Coffee soon? Some very ominous maze like servers. Okay, we've got transparent. Training will soon be complete, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh, your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? 
All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully... No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they owe you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us. Hmm. You have exceeded my every expectation. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. There's nothing on the other side? Oh, I missed that. To Jean-Francois Brunet, Melanie LeMay, 10th of August 2014, Cesare Borgia. After looking over the footage that you presented, I'm des I've decided that rather than dedicate an entire feature to the loathsome Cesare Borgia, we'll use it to add some spice and conflict to the existing Rodrigo Borgia piece. Cesare is just too much of an asshole to have his own show. Upload the data! Now! The modern day assassins are weak. It is only a matter of time before I catch the last of them and kill them. But it is not enough for them to die. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript! Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. Okay. I am super impressed, Nopsko. You <clears throat> really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Four computers here and a few more upstairs. That's a splitter. Not good. This is not good. There we go. Duncan Walpole rose mm. through the ranks to become a master assassin, but he was restricted by a brotherhood which chose to send him across the ocean to the West Indies, rather than find a way to nurture his potential. Once there, Duncan attracted the notice of Loriano Torres, former governor of Cuba and Templar Grand Master. 
Through their correspondence, Taurus offered a less violent way to achieve their mutual goals. By using precursor artifacts as a surveillance system, rather than the murders and scheming favored by the Brotherhood. Sadly, Duncan was killed by a pirate before the Templars could help him achieve his potential. Although Duncan's story does not have a happy ending, it clearly demonstrates that the Templars' highest goals of peace and order need not exclude personal success and achievement. Hmm. Uh, reflect on. Sean Hastings was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. <laughs> he was hours away from being killed by Abstergo he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. Since then, the pair have been inseparable, providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2018 and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers, or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, an assassin version of Warren Vick's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates. Lure them to the assassin side. This is dead. This is dead. You know what? No, I'm gonna finish the obstacle bit before I close out the stream. That's a big machine. Okay. 
That was easy. The kill box is live. Sorkin's picking off the stragglers as they escape. Good. Proceed to stage two. All points, the word is given. Stage two is a go. I repeat, stage two is a go. Get those doors down. Three, two. Adriano Maestranzi. I have come for you. What's he holding? Vittoria Aghi Assassin. Bob! Bert! Sigma team! Anyone, do you copy? Ouch. Mm, how about now? No? Now? No. Uh, Reflector. Shit. Um. That was a complicated one. This is a priority message to all Sigma Team operatives. Assassins have stolen an artifact from a Rotterdam storage facility. Rally point is at 51.887107 by 4.559017. Be there at 0600 local time. Stragglers will be put to death, so move it. Put to death? Listen up, losers. There are two confirmed assassins operating in the city. Target number one is Harlan Cunningham, the only survivor of a cell in Florence that our fearless leader eradicated a couple of years back. He stole the precursor box and is on the run. Target number two has been identified as Aaron Shute, former MMA champion, and now Cunningham's disciple and lover. How romantic. He's running interference, murdering our Templar agents embedded in Upstergo facilities throughout the city. Sorkin, take Sigma team and go after Shoot. I will take down Cunningham myself and recover the artifact. I don't like the idea of you going alone, boss. I want to deal with him personally. Sigma team, maintain contact with Violet at all times. You have your orders. Sorkin, you dipshit! Don't engage him hand to hand! Pull your men back! Sniper one, do you have a shot? Negative. He's using Sorkin as a shield. He's tearing us apart. Take the shot. I hit Sorkin. He dropped a smoke bomb. I've lost visual. He's. He's gone. Wow. Pick up your sorry asses 
then get to the extraction point. Double time. Yeah. Just... Just fucking kill me already. I had a dream about you. Ah, oh, that's sweet. But I'm with someone. <laughs> you never made it out of Florence alive. What can I say? I'm too stubborn to die. Hello, lover. Hercules, we can't leave the box behind. Fuck that. I killed half the Sigma team. Let's quit while we're ahead. See you in your dreams, bird. <sighs> what a shit show. Yeah. Parts of our audio logs and send them to Letitia, England. Tell her this is exactly why she should be letting us hunt assassins. Okay, I think there's one more. Wait, I missed one. No, it was just there. Oh, it is. To Jean Francois Brunet, Melanie LeMay, 04 August 2014, Robert the Sable. I'm starting to have second thoughts about doing a feature on Robert the Sable. While he was a great leader, I just don't know what, uh, that there's anything about a knight that fought and died during the Crusades that makes him stand out. I'm wondering if we can leave him aside for now and focus on Madeleine de Lisel. A successful businesswoman in pre colonial Louisiana is more of a feel good success story. That's 10 out of 20. That's the end of this law. There are three more computers in the Helix research. Get a move on, I need to wrap it up. I'll be able to access it, but I'm going to try. I'm hungry. Damn, it's an arrow. Yeah, security stations are off limits for me. Just don't get modern art. On the right, two on the left. Why has Violet Acosta been removed from Sigma Team? 
I'm reassigning our assets as I see fit to align with the goals of the Phoenix Project. The Phoenix Project? Sigma Team would be of more use hunting down the remaining assassins. Let Delta Team hunt precursor relics instead. Those relics are the key to sequencing first civilization DNA. Accomplishing that goal will in turn make the assassins even less of a threat than they are now. Be that as it may, Agent Acosta should not be wasted on something like Abstergo Entertainment. Last year's fiasco with the Sample 17 project showed me that Abstergo Entertainment is more than just a disposable subsidiary. It's the best resource we have to finding new pieces of Eden. It is a weak link that has been compromised by our enemies time and time again. All the more reason to have to cause to secure their access to the cloud servers. We're confident that Melanie LeMay won't fuck it up, like Olivier Garneau. Bringing a civilian like that into our ranks is also unwise. Time will tell with Miss LeMay, but she handled the John Sandish situation with an even hand. She helped us discover the existence of sages, and in doing so, has done more for Phoenix than you have, Mr. Berg. She also continues to ignore the presence of the instruments of the First Will within her operation. Those whack jobs are actually useful to us for now. They're a cheap source of relics we can exploit. This may become too much of a problem. We'll deal with them with the same efficiency we deal with the Assassins. Giving the Assassins time to regroup is a tactical mistake. We should strike them now while they are at their most vulnerable. We value your passion and expertise, Mr. Berg, and your concerns have been noted. Now pack your bags. You've got a busy year ahead of you. Yeah, just the last two. Apparently I didn't pick up every... Every pad. Details of Harlan T. Cunningham's life were difficult to acquire. As many traces of his identity before becoming an assassin were altered or erased by Gavin Banks. It is only thanks to Agent DaCosta's remarkable skills that we are able to piece together this profile. Cunningham was outed as homosexual in high school, which unfortunately ruined a promising wrestling career. Oh. He left Texas as quickly as he could and fled to Europe. Cunningham was recruited by the Brotherhood in Florence, Italy, under the leadership of assassin veteran Edward Weiss Nansen. Sigma team attacked the Florence hideout in 2012, but Mais Nansen detonated a bomb. Three assassins were killed before the explosion, but Sigma team was annihilated in the process. Cunningham and I were the only survivors. Cunningham was last sighted in Rotterdam, alongside Alan Shoup, a former mixed martial arts champion who also suffered a career backlash when he came out as homosexual. It is clear that Cunningham is mentally shook in the ways of the Brotherhood. Although physically gifted and extremely dangerous, Shoup is a poor choice as an assassin. He is incapable of keeping a low profile and will compromise the Brotherhood despite himself. Recently, Cunningham stole a piece of Eden from the Abstergo in Rotterdam. During the operation, Shoot was charged to attack Abstergo employees throughout the city to draw attention away from his mentor. Although Sigma team managed to reclaim the item, both Cunningham and Shoot escaped. I will not allow Cunningham to get away from me a third time. And just this last one.
Field report, Phoenix Project. November 1st, 2013. Agent DaCosta alerted me to a possible lead on the Koh i Noor diamond. A replica can be found among the crown jewels of England. However, the true diamond is a powerful piece of Eden and has been lost for centuries. Jock Sura is a programmer at Mysore Tech, a company working with Abstergo Entertainment to release a variant of the Animus headset to Asia called the Brahmin device. He's been associating with Siobhan Dani, the sister of Jadseep Dani, a known assassin. Could the Brotherhood be using the Brahmin device to locate the Kohinoor? Until we have more evidence, I have decided to use a local Abstergo strike force rather than mobilize Sigma team. Update, November 3rd, 2013. Jot Sura was abducted outside of Dreamland Studios in Mumbai. He was seen being forced into a van by Siobhan and Jadzi Dani. This confirms my suspicions. The assassins must be using Jatsura's genetic memories to locate the Kohinoor. I have authorized the local Abstergo soldiers to engage and eliminate the assassins, with instructions that the Brahmin device must be kept intact. I am en route to India. Update, November 4th, 2013. I arrived in India too late. Our strike team engaged the assassins in two separate conflicts. The body of Siobhan Dani was found at the first site, but her remains were too badly damaged in an explosion to collect any genetic information. I found the Brahmin device at the second site, but after reviewing the genetic memories recorded within, I am relieved to find that Jatsura's bloodline was a dead end. The real Kohinoor diamond remains lost to both sides. Jatsip Dani escaped, which means we must monitor this new assassin activity in India closely. I am closing this file and proceeding to my next mission. Okay. That was everything. I really don't know what the rest of the ads are. Wait. Any pads in here? Maybe next time. Hi, Violet. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. Thank you. Great. Yeah, I don't think I have anything left. The Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis the Sixteenth, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Okay, small editor's note, apparently when I wrapped up the last stream there was about 10 to 15 minutes remaining in the game, so I'm just gonna pop that right in after the, the first end, so yes. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. <laughs> Besides... I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. Infiltrate the Palace of Versailles. Remain undetected. Okay.
I'm guessing not going into the front door. Can't you climb that? Climb that, come on! Why can't you climb that? Okay, I guess we'll do it just here. Him, Charles Dorian. Yeah, no way. I'm just walking right in there. So climb. Almost there. Watching me. Just to make sure you don't sneak up on me. There's no other way I have to get down though. And there's nowhere to hide him. Unless I put him on the bench. No, I can't put him on the bench. Just shove him in the corner. The children. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. We have important business with the king. What should we do now? Je 
Okay. Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? My son, Arno? Perhaps you have seen him? Have you seen a little boy around? I'm looking for my son. I've seen him. Arno? Arno! Arno? Where are you? Aren't you going to leave somewhere? Go look. I can't kill you in the crowd. Arno? Arno! Really, I'm supposed to just kill him in the crowd? You, you're the traitor. I'm just finishing old business. Old oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now. And perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. And another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. Okay. Maybe I should have done that last time. But I had to go. These things happen. Damn, that music is loud. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, okay. Hmm, I can't do this over this music. Okay, so when I first uh, checked this out, it looked smaller than Black Flag, and then when I played it, it felt bigger but more oriented, I guess. I mean, not just a big, huge mess, but most, a lot more specific things to do. But then the story is actually shorter, quite a bit shorter, but I still have a lot more things I want to do. And... It says simulation paused. Uh, anyway, I liked it. I think I liked it even better than Black Flag, even though there are some issues uh, with the camera shakes and the... Uh, uh, limited field of view, which is very annoying and shouldn't be happening right now. And why am I still getting beeps when I should be on mute? Mm. Uh. 
Um, so yeah, I liked it. You should play it. It's a good Assassin's Creed game. And especially if you liked Black Flag, I think it's a good expand alone. Uh, that's it. Now I'll continue collecting stuff and you can stay or you can leave. But I'm going to go for as much completionist as I can. But how can I skip it and get back to the previous game? Still have challenges to complete. I haven't done one legendary ship. I guess we'll wait for the end of the credits. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Corbett's okay, memories. Okay, I'm has going to. Well. I'm going to let Shay's story out. is a message. One that Let's says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.
Um, you got a curse glitch of a girl.